My parents lived in Cloverdale, which is part of the Belmont City area. We had a lot of involvement as young, young people in this area. As part of the Wajuk Nation, which is the Boralu, the, the Perth metro area, having the cultural connection to Perth, but also the Balladong Nation, which crosses the boundaries of the Wajuk and the Balladong, which is up in the, the hills of Perth. So there was, there was always you know, family living and still living in Belmont. So Belmont City Council is special to me that I can always, I always call it come back home um, if I'm traveling. So Belmont's like that. The rotation of the six seasons was important in the Noongar culture and the Aboriginal culture of the Southwest of Western Australia. We were taught at an early age to identify indicators of what seasons were in at that time. So that then would create how we hunted, how we collected, and how the fishes were coming in through up through the river systems. What we want to do is share that information to the wider community, encompass and encourage them to, to understand our six seasons process, because at the end of the day, we're all part of this journey. We all need to understand what nature is and our culture uh, can complement the nature and sharing those stories. And I thought Six Seasons was a beautiful way. The artwork, it's, it's contemporary in its context, but what I wanted to do is give it something that people could connect to. What can we connect to? How do we connect to it? We connect it through the way we breathe. The way we interact with art is important because what we beat and what that beats is exactly the same. Boom, boom, boom. And that's where pulsive art was created, was through that process of thinking. How do we tell a story? How do we get people to engage? How do we get people to connect? And so through this pulsive art, people can actually see there's a message in there. And what is the message? Your beat is also in this art. I think the, the cultural significance of this artwork is that it's recognised the space and a place in time when once there were Aboriginal people that used to camp around these water holes and one straight across the road from the hub. So those, those are important factors that when their grandchildren and their children come past those important places, what we're, we're working on now, these projects, they feel a sense of pride that they can walk past and go, I identify with that, oh, I connect to that. But we're not only focusing on our Aboriginal people, we're also focusing on the whole community of Belmont. All my life, traveling around the world, one of the most important things, languages, isn't a barrier when it comes to art. It brings people together. It makes nations, it makes people from around the world come together and have these discussions. So we want to be able to encourage the Belmont City community to come past and say, well, this belongs to us. But it's not only belongs to us, but it belongs to the whole community of people. So that's what it's about. It's about as we sit here today and we've seen a lot of the young students passing through from the Belmont City High, they're looking and wonder what, what we're doing. And you know, they're going to be a part of this story as well. You know, so we, we hope to get that information out to everyone. I like to think that, you know, as as the design, when I first started this, it just looks like, you know, needed life to it. There was something there that it wanted to breathe. It needs to breathe. What I got out of this actual uh, journey, I always call it a journey when I'm working on art or any, anything that uh, is to be represented in public space. I think journeys are, are beautiful because there's so many things you learn on that way, on, on that path. One of the things is seeing your art transform from a canvas into, a, into be used in aluminium steel fabrication and still holding the integrity because your eyes are over it, that's your baby. You see it start to breathe and take on its own personality. And you have the spiritual connection to it because once that sculpture is is standing there, it always feels like it, it's something of you there as well. So that, that's one of the things, I think that, that connection of remains forever, you know? For me, my interpretation of artwork, it's about when I let the paintbrush dance on the canvas. The paintbrush dances on the canvas and it creates this energy, it creates movement, it creates, it brings it to life. Same as the, the public's artworks we do, we want people to see it through their eyes. We want people to talk about it in the community, we want people to be able to come back and, and get more involved with you know, sharing information, uh, understanding Aboriginal culture, understanding Belmont community people. But I think the most important thing, we're all artists, and I'll leave this as the final paragraph, is we're all artists. 
Mother Earth is the canvas. The rain brings the colour. As we travel through life, every dance or every move we make is another touch of the paintbrush on the canvas. Looking forward, looking back.